Hello, good evening. It's estimated around a million votes could be missing in the general election because people with learning disabilities aren't registered to vote or aren't voting at all. Disabilities charities are now calling on all political parties to make voting more accessible, like having easy read versions of their manifestos. Here's Rebecca Howarth. Good morning. Oh, hello, good morning. Can I order a cappuccino, please? Sue Ling is confident ordering a coffee, but is less certain when it comes to voting. The 50-year-old from Milton Keynes has a learning disability. She plucked up the courage to head to the polling station for the first time this year for the local elections. Unfortunately, it wasn't a good experience. I took in my bus pass, I showed them it, and they wouldn't accept it at all. So and then I went to do my crosses on the bit paper. I've done that, and I folded it up. And then they said, do not fold this paper. And he had it. The man wasn't very, he was very cross. They weren't very helpful. Thanks for all coming to the voting day. Several charities have come together to set up the My Vote, My Voice campaign. They're calling for all political parties to have easy read versions of their manifestos. A number of workshops are being held to help spread the word, like this one at McIntyre, a disability charity in Milton Keynes. Sometimes the information isn't presented in a visual or easy read way, um, like with the recent uh, local elections. Um, unfortunately, none of the local parties actually provided a, an easy read manifesto, which was um, a bit of a problem when, when you're trying to get people engaged. Um, hopefully, we're going to see them for the upcoming uh, general. Research by disability charity United Response found that less than a quarter of the general public didn't know that those with a learning disability have a right to vote. And 41% felt that the introduction of voter ID made it harder for them to vote. Often people with learning disabilities don't have things like a driver's license or a passport. So that's why My Vote, My Voice is really important because we're making sure that everyone's aware of their rights. It's estimated that there's almost a million votes missing because people with learning disabilities aren't registered to vote or aren't voting in a general election. I have voted before. What was that experience like? Quite good, actually. But, but quite daunting at the same time. Are you hoping to vote in this general election? I, I would, yeah. I would love to do that, yes. Do you think you might vote in the general election? Honestly, no. <laughs> Workshops like this one are hoping to change some people's minds, making those with learning disabilities feel more confident and happy to take part in a process which they say they've often felt left out of.